didn't feel that Tati Westbrook was being very sincere and genuine and um and honest about how she felt that she was being victimized she was being coerced that's really how she feels now do i feel that she released all the information that she has on shane dawson james charles and jeffree star no i don't um i'm still also stating that there will be a fire sign that speaks up about tati, tati westbrook and i also am stating that it will be one of the drama channels who is able to provide tati westbrook and james charles with information that might be needed for legal documentations and for a legal battle that everyone is preparing to have and also i do feel that there will be a queen of wands or a leo specifically that comes up and speaks up and gives information to us the community to the fans to the public and walks away from the whole thing um so i'm talking about two separate uh two separate entities two separate people um so definitely you know stay tuned for that i will do another tati westbrook reading if it's necessary if that's something that you guys are interested in remember this hey guys this is persephone and this is another video for the hermit tarot channel thank you so much if you are a new subscriber thanks for clicking on this thumbnail and if you are a subscriber thank you again for coming back i really appreciate the love and support that you guys have been giving this channel we are slowly growing but surely this video is going to be a tarot reading dedicated to tati westbrook and the main focus will be the video that she posted on youtube which was breaking my silence now again for legal purposes i do have to state that everything is alleged and for entertainment purposes i do not have any sort of personal connection with tati westbrook and i i am going off of what i'm seeing in the tarot cards if you feel like the video resonates or you really enjoyed it please you have my permission to go ahead and share this video on any social platforms now i do have to state that today is july 4th i started this video about 5 30 i will be showing off the front face of my cell phone just to prove the validity of this video it's because i personally am very new to youtube so sometimes my uploading videos have been a little challenging technically um technical challenges but again this video is dedicated for a tarot reading for tati westbrook who is an aquarius i hope you enjoy this video and let's get started with her reading now something quick that i did want to add and this is i'm adding this at 704 on july 4th as i'm editing the video for tati westbrook's tarot reading i forgot that jackie Ina is a leo herself so when you hear me talking about a leo i did specify that it was not going to be a beauty influencer and i still stick by that but if it were and i had to bank any money on who the leo is I'm betting it's either going to be Manny, MUA, or Jackie Ina. But again, this is all alleged and this is for entertainment purposes. And I know this might be a little confusing, but just stick around and you'll definitely see why I'm making such a big emphasis on my fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. And I am specifically naming a leo a feminine leo presence that is going to be a heavy influence a heavy influence on this beauty drama that's been happening pentacles tends to be someone or a situation that happens where people are walking into situations that are not financially stable where people are losing financial status financially economically they will be affected and everyone in this in this situation is going to be economically affected um the strength card okay so if you watched any of my previous tati westbrooks well this is going to be my first tati westbrook reading on camera but i have done a couple of videos on jeffree star and a lot of my jeffree star videos will show the queen of wands the, the queen of wands tends to be a fire sign aries leo sag I already have specified plenty of times in all my videos that there will be a fire sign coming forward. And if you look at all the people that have been surrounding Jeffree Star, it's usually a Leo. Leos tend to be the one who kind of support Jeffree. If you look, I believe Rich Lux is a Leo. Sanders Kennedy is a Leo. Morgan Adams is a Leo. Andrews, Shane Dawson's cameraman, he's a Leo. 
Um, I'm trying to think off the top of the dome who else is a Leo. But anyway, I said it before because a lot of the tarot readers have kept saying, oh, a Queen of Wands is going to come and they're going to be the one to disclose the information about Shane Dawson and um, Jeffree Star. And they were stating that the Queen of Wands were usually, usually was Tati Westbrook. But I already have stated before that the Queen of Wands was not going to be Tati Westbrook. It was obvious that Tati Westbrook was going to come out with a video that was just basic math, basic algorithm, basic publicity stunt 101. It was obvious that she was going to come out because financially it made sense for her to come out. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Um, but I still am speaking to the point is that there is going to be someone who is going to speak and clarify a lot of the things. I don't know what tab David's sign is. I couldn't find that much information about him. Um, the only reason why I like to state specifically the zodiac, especially the sun signs, is because that gives me a good indicator of who I'm looking at. Now, that's not to say that if I say this card is Rich Lux, that it's always going to be Rich Lux coming up. That's not true. But I like to think of anyone that knows tarot knows that the major arcana cards are usually people, specific people that are coming up. And then when you're looking at things like the cup signs or you're looking at things like the swords, those are kind of personality traits. Those are usually um, personality traits that are being shown by the people. What I was trying to say anyway was that there is going to be a Leo that's going to, oh, this is what I wanted to say. There is going to be a Leo that's going to come and going to clarify a lot. And it's going to be someone, not necessarily that doesn't have any skin in this game, but it's going to be someone who basically might not even be a beauty guru, right? And I have stated that maybe a week or two before that a Leo was going to step in and was going to say, and was going to speak volumes, right? What happened? Morgan Adams spoke out, she's a Leo. I have a big feeling that it's going to be one of the drama channels, people. I'm looking at Sandra Kennedy, I'm looking at Rich Lux. I'm really thinking, I'm really like, really banking on these two. And it's not because I, I'm following the drama, so that's the only way I can read these cards, no. The only thing is, like I said before, I have a huge feeling that it's going to be someone that is a Leo that's going to give a lot of clarification and it's going to have a lot of receipts, going to have videos, going to have voice memos. Now, there's a lot of drama channels and there's a lot of people that work for the drama channel. Sometimes a lot of these people, they are showing that it's only one person on camera, but there's a whole team working for them. But I, like again, I will bank that it is going to be a Leo. It is going to be someone of a fire sign that's going to speak up. And I also thought to myself that it had to be Man Manny MUA. And Manny MUA is a Leo um, that's going to speak up against what was going on. And they're holding a lot. They're making a decision right now. The person who's deciding to speak up, which is a Leo sign, they're holding information. They've been contemplating. The Nine of Cups is usually someone who's been contemplating, who's been um, kind of content with what's happening kind of like i'm not in it I, I don't really want to participate in this i don't want to um get into this mess but they've been making this they kind of been trying to decide how they're going to display this communication because it's not the eight of ones usually means someone who has some sort of communication and it doesn't necessarily have to be verbal a lot of the times the eight of ones can be emails um it can be internet communications it could be dms it could be it, it's just a more electronic way of communicating and they've been holding on to it. The Ten of Wands is also someone who's been holding like a lot of burden. And I feel like the person, the Leo sign, I'm reading the Leo sign, the person who I feel is going to be coming into the situation and making some sort of indication of what exactly happened behind the scenes. And let me tell you something, the person that's going to clarify a lot of the situation isn't going to be someone who is necessarily on Shane's side, Tati Westbrook's side, Jeffree Star's side. It's going to be someone that's going to be like, I know exactly what was going on and this is it. And that's why I think it's going to be a drama channel who's going to come out and say it. Because if I heard correctly, a lot of the drama channel personalities um, have some sort of relationships with all of these people. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if someone comes out and says, hey, I have this information here. The person who also has been holding on to this information is someone who is 
their whole point of coming out in this situation is because they want a resolution. They don't necessarily want this fight to go on. They don't want this this argument, this this narrative to keep on going. Um, even though a lot of people are stating that all oh, drama channels make money, and they do, they make money off of the, the drama that's going on. But the, here goes my Queen of Wands. My Queen of Wands with my my Six of Pentacles means that the Queen of Wands is again a fire sign and it's going to be a feminine sign. They are the ones that are also trying to give some sort of indication where they're giving they're giving the information up. They're giving the the necessary the necessary clarity here. But again, I don't my Queen of Wands is not Tati not um Tati Westbrook. The Queen of Wands is someone who's actually going to drop the information and run. They're going to drop the secrets and run. It's not necessarily the same person um, that we think originally it's going to be. Like, so I just want to kind of clarify. The Queen of I'm not reading anymore the, the, the strength sign, which is the Leo card. This was, this was that. I'm reading now my queen of wands my queen of wands my six of pentacles that means that she's going to be giving something what exactly she's going to be giving information secrets um information that can actually help tati westbrook now this is she's gonna have a feminine energy or um and i'm only saying this because so tarot cards usually the genders can be um exclusive or non-binary meaning that i could be looking at a queen of wands and be talking about a male um person but it has to be with the feminine quality or feminine energy right so the person that's coming the queen of wands is going to be the one that's going to give the information that's necessarily necessary for tati westbrook to win this information and she's going to drop these secrets but this person is never going to be they're never going to be um disclosed to us the person is actually going to drop that information and then run they're going to give tati westbrook that information and run and again i still think it's a i still think it's a drama channel i really do think it's a drama channel tati westbrook really struggled with the decision because she thought that if she came out with anything she was actually going to not only be affected financially but emotionally so again i don't think that tati westbrook has been lying about her um being affected emotionally i think that the way she's coming about it or the information okay guys so my camera died so i'm just going to show the time really quick so that there's no discrepancies. Okay. Okay. Um, so as I was saying before, I have actually tried to read Tati Westbrook um, three times way before I started off this camera because I wanted to kind of get a glimpse of what the cards were trying to tell me. Um, because basically when I read someone, sometimes it's just whatever I'm seeing, it's it's basically exactly what's happened or what has um we have thought was going to happen, right? But the one thing that I will say is that me reading Tati three times way before this um camera turned on, the Queen of Cups, excuse me, and the Queen of and the Queen of Swords have both shown up. Two feminine energies, two air signs two big time um presents are not facing each other right so this is gonna this is this issue between tati and the community, community because please don't think that it's only tati versus jeffrey like, this is going to be tati versus the entire community even though a lot of people i think have tried to show her support this is going to be a battle this is going to be a battle between the beauty girls at this point. And it, it will be Tati Westbrook versus Jeffree Star, but I also think that it will be Tati Westbrook versus um, Shane Dawson. It, it definitely will be. Let me just try to zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Um, because at this point, it's basically like a, a yep, three of pentacles. So that shows that there was basically a union between her and someone. 
her union right now is with the lover's card. It doesn't necessarily have to be her husband. It could be a Gemini. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, James Charles is a Gemini. But let me tell you something. That relationship between her and James Charles is going to be very short-lived. Because once everything starts to come out between James Charles and everyone, or once all the information is going to start to come out with all the receipts and all the voice memos and so forth that relationship is just going to disintegrate again like it did before only because she's going to feel either compelled to follow her faith or follow her heart and feel like i don't feel i feel that whatever i said about james charles is the truth and i think she did mention that in the video right like that everything that she felt about him is still true so that's why i'm a little confused on why she's apologizing because it's like well, what do you exactly are you apologizing for are you apologizing for uploading the video or are you up you're apologizing for how you came about and exposing that information the seven of cups usually means someone who is very delusional about what's happening and they are it's usually like a relationship or friendship it doesn't matter whether it's platonic platonic or romantic um, usually it's something that's based off of false promises, false um, hopes, just a delusion, lies. If you look at the card at first glance, like it looks like it has like really good things in the cups. But when you start to really look, let me just try to focus in here. When you start to look at the cards, there's nothing good in any of the cards. Um, we have a woman, but she has like a deceitful smirk. Um, we have some sort of like, um, like someone who is resurrecting. And that usually means someone who's bringing up lies, bringing up the past, bringing up some things that we are not like proud of. You see a snake coming out of the cup. You see somewhat of like uh, candles that have been burned. You see fruit or some sort of kind of offering. Um, you see a rat, you see a reef, you see things that at first glance they might look like they're good, but it's totally not something that um, is really worth fighting for. It's not a good relationship. It's not. And again, she is going to try to partner up. She's going to try to partner up with James Charles, but let me tell you something that, again, that's going to all be about delusions, false promises, fake friendship. It's going to be based on a lot of secrets. It's going to be based, like, if she does decide to partner up with James Charles or she decides to kind of have like a, like a united front with him, there's going to be some things that they're going to hide. There's going to be some things that basically he's going to tell her, don't say that, or vice versa. She's going to tell him, don't say that. There's going to be things that we, the public, are not going to be included in only because it just doesn't look good for them. It doesn't look good for them to just say those kind of things to kind of sell each other out, right? The King of Pentacles usually is someone who thinks logical, someone who's fair, someone who is um, thinking about stability, strategic, and they're both strategizing. They're both strategizing very quickly. They both have lawyered up. Um, the Empress is going to show reverse. The Empress usually means someone who's not motherly. And even though a lot of people tend to put, first of all, uh, Jeffree Star is a Scorpio, right? So the Scorpio cards are usually anything with cups, and they're usually either the Knight of Cups or the King of Cups, right? Because we're talking about a masculine energy here. But in my eyes, the Empress would be, the Empress reversed in my deck would technically be Jeffree Star. Only because Jeffree Star represents the opposite of what the Empress is, right? Someone who deals with nurturing, someone who is um, motherly, forgiving, um, someone who is kind of overseeing everything, right? We see here the Empress we see an energy that is the opposite of that. We see someone who's kind of overlooking things, but in a very sneaky way. The Seven of Swords usually is someone who's very sneaky, someone who's strategic, someone who's been planning, someone who has been planting lies, someone who's very deceitful. And to me, this is my Jeffree Star card. This he, and look, there goes Shane. Shane is usually the Chariot, which is a Cancer card. And let me tell you something. The King of Swords is showing up because they all have already legally have partnered up, have all kind of lawyered up, right? Everyone has their own legal representation at this time. But for some reason, I have a feeling that Shane and Jeffree Star are going to partner up legally. Legally, they're going to partner up and they're going to partner up against Tati. 
The Ten of Swords is usually a betrayal once an opportunity of communication comes up. So there is going to be some sort of communication and there is communication happening between Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. Um, I know a lot of people have been thinking that Jeffree Star is kind of being silent and that's just showing that he is not really um, helping Shane. But in this, in this deck, it shows me that Jeffree Star actually feels like he's helping Shane by staying quiet because once he stays quiet there's no reason like there's no way to analyze what he's saying there's no way for us to be over analytical and pick apart what exactly he's saying or to hit him with anything like well since you said a b and c what about one two three you understand but I feel like they both are going to have some sort of like the same legal representation and they're going to strategically think about battling Tati Westbrook together The king of wands tends to be a fire sign. The fire signs are usually Leo, Sag, and Aries. The hermit is usually a Virgo. Um, it is a Virgo. Not usually. It is a Virgo. There's someone actually that's going to be assisting the situation. And I have a feeling... So, I will say this. Even though it hasn't come up yet, there's going to be some disappointment, right? There's going to be a disappointment because we're going to see a lot of unions, a lot of um, united fronts between people and partnerships and friendships that we usually wouldn't see. And let me tell you something, the five of cards tends to, the five of pentacles tends to be someone or a situation that happens where people are walking into situations that are not financially stable, where people are losing financial status, economically they will be affected. And everyone in this, in this, situation is going to be economically affected um the strength card okay so if you watched any of my previous tati westbrook well this is going to be my first tati westbrook reading on camera but i have done a couple of videos on jeffree star and a lot of my jeffree star videos will show the queen of wands the, the queen of wands tends to be a fire sign aries leo sag i already have specified plenty of times in all my videos that there will be a fire sign coming forward and if you look at all the people that have been surrounding jeffree star it's usually a leo leos tend to be the one who kind of support jeffree if you look i believe rich lux is a leo sanders kennedy is a leo Morgan Adams is a Leo, Andrews, Shane Dawson's cameraman, he's a Leo. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of the dome who else is a Leo. But anyway, I've said it before because a lot of the tarot readers have kept saying, oh, a queen of wands is gonna come and they're going to be the one to disclose the information about Shane Dawson and um, Jeffree Star. And they were stating that the queen of wands usually, usually was Tati Westbrook, but I already have stated before that the Queen of Wands was not going to be Tati Westbrook. It was obvious that Tati Westbrook was going to come out with a video. That was just basic math, basic algorithm, basic publicity stunt 101. It was obvious that she was going to come out because financially it made sense for her to come out. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Um, but I still am sticking to the point is that there is going to be someone who is going to speak and clarify a lot of the things. I don't know what Tab David's sign is. I couldn't find that much information about him. Um, the only reason why I like to state specifically the Zodiac, especially the sun signs, is because that gives me a good indicator of who I'm looking at. Now, that's not to say that if I say this card is Rich Lux, that it's always going to be Rich Lux coming up. That's not true. But I like to think of anyone that knows Tarot knows that the major Arcana cards are usually people, specific people that are coming up. And then when you're looking at things like the cup signs or you're looking at things like the swords, those are kind of personality traits. Those are usually um, personality traits that are being shown by the people. What I was trying to say anyway was that there is going to be a Leo that's going to, oh, this is what I wanted to say. There is going to be a Leo that's going to come and going to clarify a lot. And it's going to be someone, not necessarily that doesn't have any skin in this game, but it's going to be someone who basically might not even be a beauty guru, right? And I have stated that maybe a week or two before that a Leo was gonna step in and was going to say, and was going to speak volumes, right? What happened? Morgan Adams spoke out, she's a Leo. 
I have a big feeling that it's going to be one of the drama channel people. I'm looking at Sandra Kennedy. I'm looking at Rich Lux. I'm really thinking, I'm really like, really banking on these two. And it's not because I am following the drama, so that's the only way I can read these cards. No. The only thing is, like I said before, I have a huge feeling that it's going to be someone that is a Leo that's going to give a lot of clarification and it's going to have a lot of receipts, going to have videos, going to have voice memos. Now, there's a lot of drama channels and there's a lot of people that work for the drama channel. Sometimes a lot of these people, they are showing that it's only one person on camera, but there's a whole team working for them. But I, like again, I will bank that it is going to be a Leo. It is going to be someone of a fire sign that's going to speak up. And I also thought to myself that it has to be M Manny MUA. And Manny MUA is a Leo. Um, that's going to speak up against what was going on. And they're holding a lot. They're making a decision right now. The person who's deciding to speak up, which is a Leo sign, they're holding information. They've been contemplating. The Nine of Cups is usually someone who's been contemplating, who's been um, kind of contempt with what's happening. Kind of like, I'm not in it. I, I don't really want to participate in this. I don't want to um, get into this mess. But they've been making the they kind of been trying to decide how they're going to display this communication because it's not the eight of wands usually means someone who has some sort of communication and it doesn't necessarily have to be verbal. A lot of the times the eight of wands can be emails. Um, it can be internet communications. It could be DMs. It could be it, it's just more electronic way of communicating. And they've been holding on to it. The Ten of Wands is also someone who's been holding like a lot of burden. And I feel like the person, the Leo sign, I'm reading the Leo sign, the person who I feel is going to be coming into the situation and making some sort of indication of what exactly happened behind the scenes. And let me tell you something, the person that's going to clarify a lot of the situation isn't going to be someone who is necessarily on Shane's side, Tati Westbrook's side, Jeffree Star's side. It's going to be someone that's going to be like, I know exactly what was going on and this is it. And that's why I think it's going to be a drama channel who's going to come out and say it. Because if I heard correctly, a lot of the drama channel personalities um, have some sort of relationship Relationships with all of these people and I, I wouldn't be surprised if someone comes out and says hey I have this information here the person who also has been holding on to this information is someone who is their whole point of coming out in this situation is because they want a resolution they don't necessarily want this fight to go on they don't want this this argument, this this narrative to keep on going. Um, even though a lot of people are stating that all oh, drama channels make money, and they do, they make money off of the, the drama that's going on. But look, here goes my Queen of Wands. My Queen of Wands with my my Six of Pentacles means that the Queen of Wands is again a fire sign and it's going to be a feminine side. They are the ones that are also trying to give some sort of indication where they're giving they're giving the information up they're giving the the necessary the necessary clarity here but again i don't my queen of wands is not testing not um tati westbrook the queen of wands is someone who's actually going to drop the information and run they're going to drop the secrets and run it's not necessarily the same person um that we think originally it's going to be like so I just want to kind of clarify the Queen of I'm not reading anymore the the, the strength sign which is the Leo card. This was this was that. I'm reading now my Queen of Wands, my Queen of Wands, my Six of Pentacles. That means that she's going to be giving something. What exactly? She's going to be giving information, secrets, um, information that can actually help Tati Westbrook. Now, this is she's going to have a feminine energy, or um, and I'm only saying this because so tarot cards usually the genders can be um, exclusive or non-binary, meaning that. I could be looking at a queen of wands and be talking about a male um, person, but it has to be with the feminine quality or feminine energy, right? So 
the person that's coming, the Queen of Wands, is going to be the one that's going to give the information that's necessarily necessary for Tati Westbrook to win this information, and she's going to drop these secrets. But this person is never going to be. They're never going to be. Um disclosed to us. The person is actually going to drop that information and then run. They're going to give Tati Westbrook that information and run. And again, I still think it's a I still think it's a drama channel. I really do think it's a drama channel. Tati Westbrook really struggled with the decision because she thought that if she came out with anything, she was actually going to not only be affected financially, but emotionally. So again, I don't think that Tati Westbrook has been lying about her um, being affected emotionally. I think that the way she's coming about it or the information that's kind of... Like, you see how she's been kind of baiting everyone with the songs and the tweets and cryptic messages? But... I think that's all for show because I just, I don't know. I I don't think that she's being disingenuous when she says things like it has affected her, but I do think that the amount of information that she's stating that she has is being disingenuous. Now, again, this is all for entertainment purposes and everything I'm speaking is alleged. I have nothing to do with West, Tessie Westbrook or Shane Dawson or Jeffree Star, James Charles, Manny Way. Rich luck. I don't I don't personally speak to any of them. Now, I will say that I do follow Sanders Kennedy only because he's a fellow New Yorker. Anyone that's from New York, I I automatically try to give them support. Um but I have nothing to do with Sanders Kennedy as well. Um let me just do another poll here. Happiness. It's my apple. All right. This will call this will come to a close. This will come to an end. Um, I do see that there's happiness in sight for Tati Westbrook. I see that um, she is going to be walking away from this fight. Even though I have no doubt in my mind that she legally has been lawyered up. She's been prepared. She's been prepped. Um, but her video breaking the silence or breaking her silence, um, this was... This was not necessarily an opportunity just for her to break her silence. This definitely was a strategic move for financial status. Um, this was definitely something she knew would affect her um, financially. She didn't know whether it was going to be in a positive or negative way, but she knew that this was going to be a way for her to kind of solidify herself financially before she really walks away. Um, so let me see here. I see that there's happiness for Tati Westbrook. I see that she going, she's not going to lose her financial status, even though she she is being asked to walk away. She is being paid in the sense like she's financially, she's financially set. The only thing is, like I said before, the Queen of Wands keeps showing up here. That means that this is someone that is going to assist her with the fight. The Empress to me is James Charles, and it comes up reverse. That means that James Charles right now, even though right now I I see that financially he's okay. I don't know his books, of course. Um, I see that he still has been affected financially, and she knows this. She knows this. Um, Tati Westbrook has the son and the king of pentacles, meaning that she's going to be coming out of this financially well off. I see a Morte card, and that means to tell me that this is going to be close to the end. I have a feeling that Tati Westbrook might need the internet like she's been she's been contemplating that for a really long time she's been thinking about kind of taking a position behind the scenes she's been actually thinking about mentoring other people mentoring other youtubers i wouldn't be surprised if she came out and said that she was going to be um offering some sort of program or like some sort of she's just going to be offering the, the opportunity to other maybe small influencers to work under her and for her to assist them in some way um I have the Morte card, the Grand Senor, and the Spacia. So what I have, I have a feeling that she's going to get out of this way before things get too tough. 
and she's going to get out of this way before her reputation is ruined. She does see that this is going to be the beginning of the end for Jeffree Star, and the disgrace means that she, like, his reputation is no longer going to be squeaky clean. Now, there have been plenty of times, and again, I, I put this in all my Jeffree Star videos, that he is someone who displays questionable behavior, but yet has never been canceled. And she feels like she's going to be the one who actually comes in and clarifies a lot of things about Jeffree Star. And this is going to be like the end of his good reputation and high status and like big influencer position. Even though she says that that's not what she's claiming to do, that for entertainment purposes and alleged, this is her intention. Her intention is to cut Jeffree Star off the knees. What else is there for Tati Westbrook? What is there for Tati Westbrook? Again. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to do a final clothing reading for Tati Westbrook. Again, this is going to display the time. Okay, perfect. And I'm actually thinking about doing a reading on Sanders Kennedy. Um, again, I, as a disclaimer, I do want to point out that I'm only seeing what I'm allowed to see and what I felt would be more vital. There are some stuff that I definitely will never include in the video, only because for legal reasons. Um, that's why I have to say that everything that I'm stating here is for entertainment purposes and definitely for alleged reasons. Uh, excuse me. Quick disclaimer, everything that I'm stating is alleged. This is for entertainment purposes. I do not know any of these people personally, nor have I ever communicated with them personally. Um, so this is just going to be a final reading for Tati Westbrook. My Queen of Wands is coming up now. Now, in this final reading, this right here, this this Queen of Wands, let me just zoom in so that you guys can see the cards. This is my Tati Westbrook card. Now she's coming up as a Queen of Wands. So Queen of Wands is, Tati Westbrook is going to be walking away. I did say that earlier that she would be walking away. She feels like it's time. She feels like it's the right thing to do. She feels like full circle. And let me explain something to you as well. A lot of people have been saying, well, Tati should have known better because she's a 40 year old woman. Tati should have known better because she's a grown ass woman. Tati should have known better because she's older than everyone. Tati should have known better because she's been on YouTube the longest and so forth. Anyone at any age could definitely make a mistake and be manipulated and coerced. I'm not saying that she's lying. I'm not saying she's telling the truth. What I'm saying is that she genuinely feels that before she walked away, it was time to make a decision to speak her truth. I'm also stating that she is being sincere when she says that she feels like she's a victim. Now, that's not to say that she is or she's not, but this is how she truly feels. She felt like she needed to make a decision that was familiar, was traditional, and that means expressing herself, communicating to you, with, communicating with everyone through YouTube, right? And this might have seemed like a decision that was kind of... Now, let me clarify. I believe, and I'm going to try to pull up the tweets here. I believe that there were a couple of times that I stated that she would not be the one speaking out, that I didn't see her coming out. And I definitely feel that she, even though people have been saying that she, her breaking the side, her breaking her silence video was something that was planned. I don't think so. I think that she felt the pressure. She felt like she needed to come out and say something. Um, I felt like this was something that she was 
quick to do because she didn't want to lose a momentum. She also feels like her her way of living, her lifestyle, her happiness, just like her, this has taken a toll on her and this has also brought her to a mental state where she feels like she's felt regret, she's felt remorseful, she's felt like she's gone into hiding and she's been watching. She's been watching the whole thing unfold. She's definitely been on watching everything unfold. Legally, she has to hold on to some information. You see the Justice card here, and you see the Four of Cups. The, excuse me, the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles tends to be someone who's holding on to um, money, someone who is greedy, someone who is um, um, uh, very selfish. But for legal purposes, that's the that's the reason why she's holding on to information. Just as far as like receipts, voice memos, DMs. Um, it's not that she doesn't have a way to prove herself. It's just that. It seems like legally, if she were to release some information, she would also be incriminating herself as well. She feels like in this battle, she it's a double-edged sword, meaning that she would not be necessarily the winner because it's it shows here the six of one the six of swords the six of swords tends to be someone who's walking away from the situation running from the situation going to a happier place but right now we see the five of swords the five of swords tends to be someone again who's battling who's walking away not necessarily because they lost but someone um they just weren't seeing each other communication wise they weren't agreeing on what should have been said and it sounds like she just went she wasn't agreeing with what everyone was saying. Like the three of cups are showing here, which could indicate her, Sean, excuse me, Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. Like they had a parting of ways because communication wise, like she was just not getting what she needed off of them. And she wasn't receiving the um, clarification or the confirmation that she was searching for. Again, the Leo card. The Leo card keeps coming up. The Leo card is someone who's holding on to these secrets for Tati. It's going to be someone who's giving the secrets to Tati and also holding on secrets for Tati. The Page of Wands and the Kings of Wands are, are someone who's, they're both looking at each other, right? These are fire signs. These are Aries, Leo, and Sag. The person who's going to be disclosing information for her is going to be a creative type. It's going to be someone within the beauty community, not necessarily someone who is a beauty influencer, but that's why I have a feeling, and I will definitely state on this channel that I personally feel that it's going to be someone from the drama community giving the information, helping Tati Westbrook or helping the issues some way, somehow. They're going to be the ones that clarify things for everyone. Um, I'm not sure if I see this drama a channel going into legal battles as well besides like alongside Tati Westbrook the main female courtship it could be someone that she's had a partnership with it's someone that she could have been exchanging messages with it's someone actually who also could have been supplying her with messages um I I keep hearing that our messages it's messages that could help her legally win this battle because believe it or not, it's not only Tati Westbrook that's going to be message of concern, despair. Um, it's not necessarily that Tati Westbrook is the only one who's preparing herself legally. I have a feeling that James Charles has been preparing himself legally, um, but he's not speaking out at this point because he right now doesn't need to. Um, she's kind of doing everything for him. And to be honest, Tati has this theory in her head that she's the one that started this, so she has to be the one that finishes it. The message of concern is like, again, it's going to be someone who has been speaking to her. Now, the King of Wands and the Page of Wands could be also Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. They were the ones that were forcing her, supposedly giving her the information, giving her the message of concern that uh, James Charles was involved in questionable behavior with minors or, or some sort of... Um, um, you know, just some sort of behavior that could be harmful to others. And she was really hurt. She was really hurt about this information. But again, I also feel, I'm going to stick with what I'm saying, that I feel like it's someone from the, the drama community that is going to be giving her that information. Look, false person comes up. That means that it's someone with the Jeffree Star and the Shane Dawson it could have been that they were using her as a shield. It could have been that they were using her as someone who was going to be like kind of the scapegoat. Like, well, we have all these things. We have all these um, messages and information about James Charles, but we're not going to be the ones that step up. We're going to allow her to say it.
I'm going to end my reading here of Tati Westbrook only because I think only time will tell. Um, quick summary of what I got. I do feel that Tati Westbrook was being very sincere and genuine and, and, um, and honest about how she felt, that she was being victimized, she was being coerced. That's really how she feels. Now, do I feel that she released all the information that she has on Shane Dawson, James Charles, and Jeffree Star? No, I don't. Um, I'm still also stating that there will be a fire sign that speaks up about Tati, Tati Westbrook. And I also am stating that it will be one of the drama channels who is able to provide Tati Westbrook and James Charles with information that might be needed for legal documentations and for a legal battle that everyone is preparing to have. And also, I do feel that there will be a Queen of Wands or a Leo specifically that comes up and speaks up and gives information to us, the community, to the fans, to the public, and walks away from the whole thing. Um, so I'm talking about two separate, uh, two separate entities, two separate people. Um, so definitely, you know, stay tuned for that. I will do another Tati Westbrook reading if it's necessary, if that's something that you guys are interested in. Remember, this has been Persephone for the Hermit Tarot. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to share, subscribe, like. If you feel that this is something that you're interested in and it resonates, go ahead and share the video on any social platforms. You guys have my blessings and I hope you guys have a safe day. Thank you.